yours. Larry, thanks very much. Good evening again, everyone. We are just steps away from the corner of Wilshire and La Brea. There are people all around us, some of the hundreds of thousands of people all across the country. Most are Latino, many of them here illegally, but also there are many simply supporting them. They walked off their jobs or skipped classes. Some marched for immigration reform, some for outright amnesty. Above all, they came out today out of the shadows to make a point. From coast to coast and in dozens of cities in between, immigrants, both legal and illegal, were on the march. It is time that 11 to 12 million people who work so hard each and every day that contribute with their sweat and their equity and their hard work to this great nation are saying, we are ready to embrace the American dream. We are ready to embrace America and we hope that today America is ready to embrace immigrants. It was billed as a national day without immigrants, a chance for America to see what would happen if immigrants didn't work, didn't send their children to school, or spend money in stores. Instead, they took to the streets. I think it's important that we, uh, we do a boycott today to show that we are important. In California, home to the country's largest illegal immigrant population, there were demonstrations up and down the state. Centered by a massive American flag, an estimated half a million demonstrators moved through the streets of Los Angeles to City Hall. In Chicago, more than 300,000 marched to a rally in Grant Park, and schools in some parts of the city reported their attendance was down between 10 and 33 percent. We are at a crossroad. In New York, protesters formed a series of human chains in the city's five boroughs, then marched down Broadway to the federal courthouse. The picture was much the same in cities all across the country, from Washington, D.C., to Homestead, Florida, to Las Vegas, Atlanta, to San Diego, along the Mexican border, even embattled New Orleans saw some protests. Some companies and small businesses shut down for the day. Tyson Chicken closed 12 of its 100 processing plants. Purdue closed eight of its 15 plants, all in anticipation of a shortage of workers. But not all immigrants agree with today's action. The group, You Don't Speak For Me, spoke out against the protests and the reasons behind them. We understand the important contribution immigrants have made to the economy and the industry of this great nation. But the difference is that we and millions of others like us did it legally. We're all here today to tell those illegal protesters, you do not speak for me. The protests proceeded peacefully all across the nation, but the issues behind them remain far from resolution. Well, that's the big picture in very broad strokes. From a distance, the crowds today resemble those last month when millions marched to make the same point. The aerial shots are impressive, no doubt about it, filled with people packed together, but they don't tell the whole story. For that, you had to get up close in the thick of the crowd. Today's demonstration in downtown Los Angeles at times seemed more like a giant block party than an act of political protest. There was plenty of food and music and thousands of flags, Mexican and Salvadoran, but most of all, American. There's several hundred people carrying an enormous American flag, which is probably very visible from, from above. Uh, there was a real sense after the first major demonstration uh, that there were too many Mexican flags shown and not enough American flags. Organizers this time have made a real effort to have, to have as many American flags visible as possible, and they're all over the place. The crowds came for different reasons, supporting a patchwork of causes. Most, however, called for some form of amnesty for illegals and immigration reform. 67% that were somewhere in the 60% of the United the States wants that. The president wants that. We all want that. That's all we want, comprehensive immigration reform. As contentious and divisive as this issue is, uh, when you're actually in the demonstration, I mean, it, it, it's actually got a real festive atmosphere. People have brought their entire families, young and old, little children and strollers. Uh, it, it's, it's in some ways a celebration, a celebration of, of uh, what some people here will tell you is, is a newfound power. 
A lot of people in the crowd are chanting, we can do it, we can do it. And I think many of the people here feel that really for the first time their voices are being heard. We can do it, we are doing it. You know, people are coming together and this is only the beginning, but I mean, this is a dent. You know, getting people together, you know, everybody just coming together and doing something. That's the way this country was founded. We're here to celebrate that. We're here to celebrate why it is that America is America, you know? You know, si se puede! Dorian took the day off from his job as an administrative assistant. You know, I might get in trouble. I probably will get in trouble. But you know what? I wouldn't want to be anywhere else today. You know, God bless America. God bless America. That was something we heard a lot today. As immigrants, legal and illegal, and their supporters stepped out of the shadows and into the fray, making sure their voices were heard. And this is actually uh, the second demonstration today. The first one was at City Hall, which I just showed you that piece about. Take a look at some of the pictures right now. As far as the eye can see, uh, there are people here just filling the streets, uh, listening to speeches, milling around. As I said, it is a very festive atmosphere. As for the economic impact, may not be what organizers had hoped for. Again, a number of meatpacking plants and chicken processors in the Midwest and South shut down today. Goya, the largest maker of Latin foods in the country, suspended most deliveries. And and McDonald's said locations in parts of the country would close early or only offer drive-through service. But by and large, transportation and shipping and agriculture got through the day with barely a glitch. In other words, today will probably end up being less about dollars and more about votes and voices in a growing national debate. Two true crime. We are here uh, in the crowd of uh, demonstrators who have come out today. What is your name? My name is Beatriz Cortez. And your name? Douglas Carranza. So why did you come out today? Well, I came to support my community. Our community is out here expressing the, their desire to obtain rights, to fight for dignity, to uh, obtain legalization. Uh, our community contributes, and all these people work all day to contribute to this country. And we want to be able to also receive the rights that every citizen has. There, there are some who said that there may be a backlash because of this demonstration today, because of people leaving their jobs. Does that concern you at all? No, I think that, you know, if people are leaving their jobs, it's because they feel that they're not being heard under other circumstances. And unfortunately, leaving your job is a way to also affect the economy. And that is not our desire, but it's our desire to be heard. So I think it's, a, it's really a call to everybody. We don't feel that this is an issue about the Latino community alone, but all the communities that are fighting for dignity and human rights, and that we should be heard without having to walk out from our jobs. We don't want to do that, but we have no other choice. There's a lot of American flags in the crowd today. In the first demonstration, there were a lot of Mexican flags, and that, that caused something uh, of, of some tension. I think organizers wanted a lot of American flags. Why do you think it's important to, to have the American flags out here? I think uh, uh, people feel appreciated. Feel it's a, people are trying to show that appreciation also. And I, I will say that uh, it is important for American people, the majority, to, to understand you know, that this country is made up by immigrants. That is what we are showing here. And also this issue is not about nationalism. It's an issue about dignity and human rights, and we are emphasizing that. We feel part of this country. It was a bit, what do you think was a success today? Yes, it's a success. Okay. Thank you very much. It's a national uh, demonstration. It's not just in Los Angeles, as you already know. And Thank we're, you. And we're showing that. Take care. Uh, we're going to have a lot more. We're going to talk to Univision's Jorge Ramos when we come back. Stay with us.